Hey guys, I am coming to you barefaced with no makeup, a hat because I am getting ready to run out of the door and travel here in just a minute. But I wanted to bring you my favorite recommendations for fragrance purchases from the Sephora sale. Sephora has a sale twice a year in the spring and in the fall. And if you are a Rouge member, meaning you spent way too much money during the year like I did on hair and makeup and fragrance products from the store, you get 20% off for the entirety of the sale. The next tier down gets 15% off. And then I think it's called Insider that gets 10% off. If you are not part of the program, all you have to do is get on the website and I think just sign up with your email and you automatically get 10% off which is a pretty decent savings off of fragrances particularly the new ones that haven't gone on sale anywhere else quick tip about shopping the Sephora sale if your goal is to get the biggest discount on a fragrance Sephora is not always going to be the best place unless you are purchasing fragrances that are newer to the market and just haven't gone on sale anywhere else other than that most of the brands not all that you see on Sephora you can find on discount sites elsewhere and then there are some brands that just they just don't show up on discount sites so I'll talk about at least one of those and I really wanted to do this by brand and give you some top recommendations from a few fragrance brands that maybe maybe you're better off purchasing from Sephora than elsewhere. It's up to you to decide. For me, I personally enjoy the Sephora sale because I like to fill up my cart and have everything come to me at once and get the one solid 20% off discount uh, from across a lot of brands and a lot of different types of products. So for me, I enjoy shopping at Sephora. You do you, it's your money and your shopping preferences. It's good either way and thanks for watching today's video. I will say if you're interested in makeup and skincare and maybe hair, I haven't decided if I'm purchasing hair products. I happen to have 32, yes, 32 items sitting in my cart because I like to load up my cart before the sale and then go back and like whittle it down. So I put my entire wish list in the cart and then figure out what do I want because of FOMO's sake and what do I really want and think I'm going to use. So if you'd like to see the thought process behind what I added to my personal cart and what I'm actually going to buy, you can check that video out on Essential Veronica, my other channel. I should be posting that video soon if it isn't posted already. I would love for you to follow me over there. We do a lot of chatting, life conversation, this, that, and everything over on Essential Veronica. Chatty, chatty channel. So if that's for you, check me out over there. But let's talk about some of the brands that you should check out at Sephora if you're interested in fragrances. So I'm going to start with an obvious one and maybe a brand that people are really tired of hearing about because the hype train on the brand is like through the roof. It's Kayali. So there are some Kayali fragrances that I do like and I own and that I recommend. So I'm going to start off with a fragrance that made the rounds this spring into summer that I really enjoy. I think it's great. It is a warm and sweet fragrance. Yum Pistachio Gelato. Love the color of the bottle. This is supposed to smell like Pistachio Gelato. I'm not sure that I get a whole lot of pistachio in it, but I do get a beautiful sort of light, fluffy cotton candy whipped cream, creamy type of fluffy texture from this fragrance. It's like putting on a sweet gourmand cloud. Gourmand in the sense that it's uh, sweet and leaning towards edible, but it's not quite foodie as a fragrance and that I like. This is very long lasting. This one, you can get the little travel sizes of the Kayali's for $27. So if you're looking at 20% off, that's what $5.40 if I calculated that correctly off the top of my head. Or if you want the full size bottle, it's $100 and $38 and you can get you know 20% off of that so $27 and 60 cents if I calculated that correctly and that's for the full 3.4 ounce they do have a 1.7 ounce 50 mils for $100 retail so you'd get it for 80 on sale okay so all the fragrances are pretty much, well, no, they're not all priced the same because the Oudgasm collection was the collection I was going to mention next. These are not available on discount except right now at Sephora and may not be available again on discount for a while. I haven't tried any of the Oudgasm fragrances. I am interested in trying the Vanilla Oud one and trying the Tobacco Oud one. I'm not rushing out to get these. The reviews on them are very mixed and I'm looking at the Vanilla Oud ratings here on Sephora and it's a three out of five stars. So that's really not good. Anyway, these are priced a little bit more. They're at $140 for the 1.7 ounce, the 50 mils. So you get $28 off of that. It's kind of, you know, the, the pricing structure for these is a little bit more than the others. 
Probably one of my favorites from the Kayali brand is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21, a fragrance that I really didn't think I loved very much and, uh, you know, went ahead and took a chance and purchased it. And I am I'm all over it. It's coconut, it's white florals, it's sweet, dark, deep vanilla. It's summer in a bottle with some elegant ladylike sweetness. I just adore this. It has some sandalwood. Uh, it's warm and it's, it's lovely and it's pretty. It's a very pretty summer scent without being too far in the sunscreen direction, which a lot of people don't like. I think the fragrance is pretty white floral dominant with coconut sort of right behind it, lending some creaminess. It's not really a coconut fragrance and I really adore it. Now, I will say this. I haven't disliked any of the Kayali fragrances that I have tried. The toughest one for me in terms of sampling was the sugared patchouli one, sugared patchouli vanilla something or other. And even that on the dry down was nice. The opening of that kind of knocked me around a little bit. I haven't disliked any Kayali fragrances, so I have nothing against a brand and would say check them out. Um, I'm have sampled a bunch in store and thought they were all nice so but the point is that it might be easier for you to get Kayali on Sephora the only other place to get it that I know of is to actually go on the Kayali website um, and grab them there I don't know if they're sold retail anywhere else or if they are a Sephora exclusive have you ever seen Kayali in retail department stores I don't really shop at retail department stores very much just because of the area that I'm in, I mostly shop online. So let us know in the comments below. Moving along, another brand that I would say to check out during the Sephora sale is Clean Reserve. I really like these bottles. I think the bottles are quite handsome in the way that they're structured. I appreciate that there's this sort of faux wood cap on them. I have tried a lot from this line. Again, I have not really disliked anything I've tried from the line, but in terms of the ones that really stand out for me, I have a small obsession with Clean Reserve skin. I've had that obsession since the brand first came out with it many years ago. This is, again, another warm, like your skin but better type of fragrance. It has musk and it has a little bit of sweetness uh, from praline. I think it's really delightful. A little touch of subtle vanilla in the fragrance. I think that this is a lovely, musky, personal scent, one that I usually rely on for meetings. In fact, maybe I'll wear that tonight as I go travel so that I don't offend folks that I am around. Around. It has pretty decent longevity, not the longest lasting, but it's close to the skin and not offensive and just a great your skin but better everyday fragrance to wear to the office, to medical settings, that type of thing. Really enjoy that. The full bottle is going to be $110 and 20% off is going to give you $22 off of that. So I also would say check out Sparkling Sugar. I don't want a bottle of this, but I think it's a really nice fragrance. I have other fragrances to kind of scratch the same itch. But if you're looking for something sweet, not overly cloyingly sweet, but just like the right amount of girly sweetness. Again, another sort of your skin or a little bit more projecting than your skin. This is a good one. The keynotes listed on Sephora are black currant, so kind of a sweet, deep berry, peach nectar, and white musk. So a fruity, musky fragrance, light, fluffy, really nice, really fun fragrance, I think. I do like Radiant Nectar from the brand, although between Radiant Nectar and Sparkling Sugar, maybe I'd say go for Sparkling Sugar. They're both really nice. The third fragrance that I would recommend, now this is no longer like my preferred scent profile, but I went through a period where I really, really loved this fragrance and kind of wore the heck out of it. It is Warm Cotton. It is one of the, well, the cotton ones in general, anything cotton, <laughs> clean cotton, warm cotton, uh, I forgot some of the other names, are the sort of hallmarks, if you will, of the Clean Reserve line. They're known for that, and they came out on the market, I think, originally with some of these cotton fragrances and captured the hearts of people that want that clean laundry smell, because that's what you get here. It's bergamot, benzoin, musk as the keynotes listed, and it does smell like warm, freshly laundered laundry with a little bit of a perfumey edge. A really nice one. I would say um, it's, it can be a little cloying if you overspray it. It does settle down nicely and just smells... You smell clean. You smell clean and laundry-esque. We're going to go next to commodity. I think that some of these have shown up on discount sites. I don't really know. But again, the point of this video is not to get you the very best price on every fragrance, but give you the convenience of shopping at Sephora and adding to cart all at once. I have two 
very deep obsessive loves from the commodity line and it's milk expressive and then milk bold i would say get either one of those go for the expressive if you want more of the marshmallow type of factor these are sweet milky marshmallowy you know hug in a bottle types of fragrances they are very sweet they are very enveloping make you think of marshmallows make you think of cotton balls make you think of cashmere sweaters all of those types of things keynotes listed for milk expressive milk cold milk <laughs> mahogany wood and marshmallow absolutely delightful fragrance obsessed it lasts forever it has tonka bean and in the base that i think just adds this nice sweetness to it i am also obsessed with the bold of milk milk bold version which is a little bit more on the woody side and i would say maybe leans creamier whereas the expressive is more in the fluffy marshmallow direction obsessed with both of those the bottles are 145 dollars for the full 3.4 ounce which i think is a bump in price if i remember correctly this whole brand isn't this one of the brands that kind of bumped their prices up a little bit here in late 2022, early 2023, something like that. But anyway, you can get $29 off of your full bottle. I would also say check out Commodity Gold Expressive and Gold Bold. Those are more in the gentle fluidity gold type of direction. You're sort of everyday vanilla wares but with a little bit of maturity and elegance and sophistication not your sort of you know girly flirty vanillas these are i would say leaning in the sort of serious category of vanillas but at the same time have an aloofness and an easy wear aspect to them now i don't have a bottle of this but i was intrigued by commodity paper the expressive and the bold versions very quickly these are woody fragrances they have sandalwood they have a ton of iso e super so if you are bothered by that sort of synthetic woody smell you're gonna hate these but i think that this is a nice skin scent they i found both of these to be really soft you know close to the skin so again these are fragrances that you could wear to the office or in situations where you just don't want to offend other people uh, and you kind of like that molecule one type of scent you know you may want to check these out so paper and what an interesting name for a fragrance if you want it to be a little bit sort of avant-garde and edgy <laughs> i'm wearing paper by the way i think a lot of the fragrances that i have mentioned that i'm going to mention also have travel sizes so you don't have to commit to a full bottle you can check out a little travel size in fact the next brand is ellis brooklyn a brand that's pretty hit or miss for me i adore the entire aesthetic of the bottle lineup i like the shape of the bottles i like the colors i like the consistency of like tones on the bottle and all of that i like the labeling yay yay ellis brooklyn <laughs> however not all of the fragrances work out for me you can get a discovery set on sephora for 32 dollars take 20 percent off of that so six dollars and 40 cents off of the set that would be a great way to try the range i am gonna get a bottle of apple love what a pretty bottle i'm trying to do better and just get travel sprays if i haven't sampled it first not an easy thing to do when you are an impulsive shopper like I am. <laughs> this is a fruity floral that I think a lot of people said leans more on the floral aspects than on the apple. I was really kind of hoping for a fall apple cinnamony type of fragrance. But I mean, hello, I have like a million of those. So do I really need any more? I don't need any fragrance of any kind. But I'm gonna get more. <laughs> So this red apple, sugar cane, and vanilla are the keynotes listed. Although when you look further down, you get peach skin. I think that's lily of the valley, plum blossom or something else, just some other, other florals. So I'll try a travel spray. The reviews on this are mixed. The bottle is Gorgiosity. Then I would say check out vanilla milk. <laughs> A fragrance that I have had some controversy with. So they have the little travel size for 10, actually they have two travel sizes, a 10 milliliter and then they have a, a seven milliliter that come, the seven milliliter looks like the bot, like a mini of the bottle. And the other one is an actual like tube travel spray. Anyway, I was very sort of weirded out by some gassy notes on this fragrance in the opening when I first tried it. As it has sat in my collection, it has mellowed out and I actually really like it a lot. It's like a milky vanilla fragrance. Imagine vanilla ice cream melted down in your bowl, what the melted down ice cream smells like. Boom, that is what you get. It's actually a very cozy, cocooning fragrance that I have come to enjoy. This one, the full bottle, 1.7 ounces, $108. So, you know, $21.60. You get a $21.60 off of that. 
Although I don't have this bottle anymore, I gifted it to one of my fragrance friends here on YouTube who was interested in it. Boy, is the bottle beautiful and the scent is quite nice too. It's salt, salt. Oof. Love this blue turquoise bottle. They have the 1.7 ounce for 108, so 20% off of that. And then the 3.4 ounce for $155, so 20% off of that, $31. So this features keynotes of a Lang Alang, Tiari, and Ambergris. Um, 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 and you do get that salty beachy type of scent from this i had other scents that at the time were fitting the bill of course i'm reading the description now and kicking myself for giving <laughs> this away but anyway it's super nice it's described as a fresh solar scent so if you're into that sort of beachy salty vibe check out this fragrance the bottle is exquisite and it wears for a very long time and i'm gonna go ahead and get the little mini bottle of b I tried the travel spray before and had just kind of a rough experience with it. I'm a lot more experienced now with honey fragrances, so I think I'm kind of ready to try it again. Keynotes are rum, not just rum, but a dark rum. <laughs> honey, a vegan honey. Like, do we have to explain that honey is vegan? I'm sure someone out there knows the reason why it says vegan. And anyway, we're going to move on. And vanilla bean. <laughs> so... This fragrance uh, is one that I really want to try again now that I have fallen in love with B from Zoologist and several other honey fragrances. I'm ready. I'm ready to try this. And so again, beautiful bottle and gets rave reviews. People that love B, they love, love, love B. A brand that I'm going to give an honorable mention to because I'm not putting my money on these or am I? Let me look at these discounts. Because this whole brand is kind of, looks like it's being discounted in general. So maybe it's being discontinued overall. And it's Heretic. Have you tried any Heretic fragrances? From this line, I do like the smell of dirty vanilla and dirty coconut. But I only like them at the opening. They really die down into something kind of disappointing. So I even take back my honorable mention. Mm, I can't do y'all like that. Let's go on. Let's go on to Joe Malone. Speaking of fragrances that don't last, but I forgive the Joe Malone line because I know that going in and there are some scents that are so good that I will take the poor performance. So my number one recommendation is for Ginger Biscuit if it is still available by the time the sale starts. If you want this, you better add it to cart and you better check out first thing when that sale opens up because I can nearly guarantee you this is going to sell out. It's new, it's limited edition, it ain't coming back. Although it was out of stock for a long time and came back. So maybe that, you know, maybe that's just a tactic, who knows? <laughs> anyway, it's a really super cute bottle. I have a bottle, the fragrance is so fun, whimsical, light, airy, and smells just like a ginger snap co cookie. It has that sort of vanilla cookie dough type of base with sprinklings of ginger and maybe cinnamon and those types of spices. And it is, it's delightful. It's delightful. Not the longest lasting, but man, is it a fun fragrance. So I would say definitely check that out. You can also get like a set to try out. I've tried, no, don't get the set. Forget that. I take that back. Save your money and actually get a bottle. <laughs> So the ginger biscuit, and it's a cologne concentration, so just keep that in mind. And in that way, it's kind of pricey for what it is, $168. Diantre. So you're going to get $33.60 $33 off of that. So it's going to be somewhere in the $130 range for the full bottle. Yeah, a little much for a fragrance that is a bit fleeting. You're going to get a few hours out of it. But man, is this a cute fragrance and a very sort of novel, novel fall winter scent that's just delightful for the holidays, for Thanksgiving or Christmas morning, for cuddling up on the couch. Ooh, so cute. I would also say check out Nectarine and Blossom. Excuse me, that is not the name of the fragrance. It is called Nectarine Blossom and Honey my friends, <laughs> $165 uh, retail. So again, do you do the discount in your mind? This is berries, it's honey, and it is like a peachy, fruity type of scent. Very delightful, very inviting, lovely to smell in the air on others. Kind of alluring, but in a, a very sort of friendly way. This is a nice day-to-day -day fruity floral fragrance that's hard to go wrong with. 
I have that also. And then the third fragrance that I have from Jo Malone that I would say check out is Scarlet Poppy. This is Cologne Intense. This one does last a little bit longer, but it is a very soft, close to the skin fragrance. At least that's my experience. It's classified as a warm floral and the keynotes are amber. So think of like a soft marshmallow musk type of scent. Scarlet Poppy, whatever the heck that smells like, and Tonka Bean. This is like a vanilla, for me it comes across almost like a vanilla almond musky fragrance. Really light and soft to the skin and delightful. Oh, it also has a velvety iris. I don't know that I picked up any iris in the fragrance. I really think of it almost as like a like tonka bean and vanilla and almond, real soft, mixed into like a haze on your skin. Really nice. I like this and I like the red bottle on it. Now this one, ay ay ay, the 3.4 ounce at 100 mils comes in at 220. Woo! So <laughs> you would get $44 off of that. It'll put you in the 170, what is it, $176? I hope my math is correct. Am I embarrassing myself with my math here? I like this fragrance a lot. I think it's worth it. I enjoy it. There's also a 1.7 ounce if you want to, you know, slice the price quite a bit. Then I have to give a shout out, even though I have sold this. Did it sell or is it still sitting on my Mercari? I don't remember. Myrrh and Tonka Cologne Intense. This one does last. It's lavender, myrrh, and tonka bean. Oh my gosh, really lovely, warm fragrance. Very intoxicating, sexy very unisex. You can wear it, your guy can wear it, or if you're a guy, you and your girl or guy or whoever you're with, y'all can both, everybody can wear it. It's really nice and it lasts quite a long time. It has a sweetness to it in the dry down that I think is kind of cool and it's inspired by the golden sand dunes of the Namib desert. Who doesn't love that? Who's a Yankee fan? Let me know. I'm not really big into sports, but if I were into sports, I grew up near Yankee Stadium. Where the apartment I grew up in, I used to be able to look out the window and see Yankee Stadium off in the distance. It was maybe like two-ish miles from my house, maybe three, something like that. Who knows, when you're a kid, things, you know, distance is distorted. And I used to watch the fireworks on July 4th over Yankee Stadium. Coolest thing ever. I remember in my mind's eye a very clear view of the stadium. So, um, and I performed in Yankee Stadium. I was in a marching band and I was a majorette. So I was in one of those low uniforms with a cowgirl hat on, boots and a baton, kicking and twirling. <laughs> and then I was also a drum major later on directing the band. So I have very fond memories of Yankee Stadium. So my loyalty is there, even though I have no idea who is even on the team now and how they're doing. Let's go on. Juliet has a gun. Mm, a little bit of a controversial brand in that they are accused of not lasting long and maybe... Maybe that reputation is well earned. I've talked y'all to death about Ode to Dullness in my other videos. So this is retailing the full 100 mil bottle at $145. So $29 off of that during the sale if you are rouge. This for me, I'm gonna ignore the key notes because I've tried this a number of times. It's been probably three or four times that I've worn this now. It's a soft, clean smelling, warm, woody fragrance. It's like equal parts, very moisturizing soap that has clean aldehyde smell to it, but also like a creaminess and woodiness from sandalwood. Apparently there's tonka bean in it also. I don't know that I, you know, picked that up in the fragrance. It's, it's delightful. It's not like my favorite fragrance in the world, but I have enjoyed wearing it and it's loved here uh, by my son. So that's a winner for me. Love the bottle on that. Another fave, and maybe a contender to wear today too, is Pear Ink. This one is accused of smelling just shampoo-y, and I think that's kind of right, but there's a sweetness to it that you have to let develop on your skin. The keynotes listed are Green Pear Accord and Broxen and Musks. And I definitely get a really crisp pear. I get a lot of sort of clean shampoo vibes, and I get this sort of deep sweetness from it. It is, though, light and playful and airy and fun and very clean smelling, very girly, clean smelling, and a crowd pleaser when I have worn it to events. In fact, the fragrance family that it's listed under is fresh, which I find interesting. I do think it's quite a fresh, fruity fragrance, and I like it. I also like, although... I gotta, I gotta beat up on this fragrance a little bit because the performance is beyond poor. <laughs> Sunny side up. Mm. I do like the bottle. This is a 
very, very lovely sandalwood fragrance. It's a little bit of musk, sandalwood. There's something kind of creamy about the fragrance on your skin. It has a little vanilla in it also. Um, but more than anything, it's like a summer sandalwood fragrance and it's soft. It's soft. It doesn't last very long at all. And I like it. I like it. It's one of those sort of easy reaches in the summer when you just want to smell like warm. You want to smell warm in the summer. You don't want to smell too floral. You don't want to smell sunscreeny. You just want to smell warm. That sandalwood in here definitely does that for you. One brand that you should check out on Sephora, although a number of these fragrances are heavily discounted elsewhere. So you have to make your own decision. It's Killian. So I do love the bottles that look like the Oh my gosh, I'm going to forget the names of them. Low balls, is that what they're called? They're not high, low balls where you, like Angel Share, that one. That's the, obviously my first recommendation. Angel Share is just amazing to me. It is that cinnamony, boozy, woody, very sexy, very alluring, quintessential fall fragrance. Angel Share, love it. It's long lasting. It goes on forever. It's appealing on my skin. When I wear it, people are constantly you know sniffing me asking me what I'm wearing I do like the bottles on these it retails the full bottle for a whopping 245 ouch so you get $49 off of that okay so it brings you down under 200 if you shop for it in the Sephora sale at the 20% off love that fragrance probably my top recommendation from the brand I would also advise checking out Killian uh, Princess which is a tea marshmallowy uh, almost spicy kind of fragrance really enjoy that one too it's very girly it's very playful it's sort of fluffy one that I would wear for a sweat it's like your sweater weather type of fragrance uh, really enjoy that and it's a crowd pleaser ginger green tea marshmallow are the keynotes that are listed for that and you know it takes some getting used to when you first smell this you're gonna think oof that really wasn't what I thought it would be give it a chance let it play on your skin a little bit and you might fall in love with this one my third recommendation and one that is sitting in my cart and that I may pull the trigger on is Smoking Hot. Oof. This one is a whopping $290 for only 1.7 ounce. You're killing me, Smalls, okay? 29 times two gives us $58. Did I do that math right? $58 off of this. So it still keeps you in the 200 plus range. Ay ay ay. Keynotes, hookah flavor tobacco absolute bourbon vanilla pure jungle essence what the heck anyway this is getting really rave reviews from people most of the folks that have tried it enjoy it except if you're not into smokiness there's a smokiness to this fragrance that is pronounced let me see some of the notes say it features kentucky tobacco absolute infused with a hookah drag of apple flavored shisha shisha tobacco I, I don't know I mean I have an idea what that is but I can't say that I've ever tried that and then the intense bur bourbon vanilla it sounds really good really intoxicating really sexy have you tried smoking hot let me know in the comments should I pick this up what do y'all think it's listed as a warm and spicy fragrance this one's on my radar of course, if you're into Love Don't Be Shy, Good Girl Gone Bad, definitely check those out in this sale also. They're, they're both really beautiful fragrances. Okay, moving along, another brand I would say check out is Nest. And I have two recommendations that I personally enjoy. One very unique fragrance called Indigo that um, it took me a while to warm up to. And then I tried it one day and it was magic. And then it's been like love ever since. <laughs> Some of the notes are, there's some citrus notes and then, but what I love is there's a tea note, Moroccan tea, ooh, cashmere wood and wild figs. I, I'm not into the fig piece as much, but the beautiful tea in here along with the other notes make this fragrance feel almost like camphorous to my nose in a really exotic, intriguing way. <laughs> it's a difficult fragrance to describe, but I really enjoy it. It's, it's like fresh and uplifting. It almost has like a cooling effect, kind of like when you apply Vicks Vapor Rub or something like that on your skin. It both like warms and cools at the same time. The tea from this fragrance really is pronounced to me along with like a woody spiciness. It's unique. It's different. It's alluring. It's uh, one that I also get compliments on here in the house because it's different. It's strange and unique. We'll definitely say check that out. There is a mini of this. The mini is $32 retail so you do the math on the discount the full 1.7 ounce bottle is 90 so 18 dollars off of that 
I also really like Sunkissed Hibiscus. That one has been hanging tough in my collection and I've gone through a lot of summer reed types of fragrances that have come and gone. The key notes here are Frangipani, Orange Blossom, Golden Amber. It's very much like a warm, very mature for me, summer floral fragrance. Warm, ambery, summer floral that's cozy on the skin. It's like a summer hug, a summer hug on your skin. Really nice, and I like the Nest bottles. I really appreciate the artwork on them. I think it's creative, and it's fun, and it's different, and go for it, okay? Let's go for it. And then let's go over to good old Tom Ford. There are a lot of fragrances listed on Sephora for Tom Ford. I would say sort by the newest and see if there are any that are new that you are interested in because those are going to be the ones that are going to be difficult to get on discount sites for a while. I haven't researched every single new one to tell you which ones are or are not available, nor have I tried them all. And so here are my top three recommendations from the Sephora sale for good old Tom. Santal Blush. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite, favorite sandalwood fragrances. Absolutely gorgeous, like boyfriend in a bottle with feminine touches fragrance. Keynotes, cinnamon bark oil. Why? I don't get any cinnamon in there. Alang Alang, also no. Ignore Sephora. This is a sandalwood fragrance that has some spiciness to it, okay? Uh, in fact, it's classified then the description, mesmerizing spicy wood oriental. That is true. Creamy sandalwood, exotic eastern spices. Yes, yes, and yes. Sumptuous woods, second skin warmth. All of that is true. I can't say I pick up a Lang Lang or the cinnamon bark in particular. Interesting that those are listed as keynotes. This is very much a warm, spicy sandalwood that has, um, it's unisex. Anyone can wear it and rock it. But it does have for me the comfort of like my husband's hug with the creaminess uh, and the spices that give me a little tiny bit of femininity so that I can wear it also. I really enjoy this. You have to be in the mood for this because it is a very particular type of fragrance, but this is my, one of my favorite sandalwoods. They have a 1.7 ounce bottle for $2.95. <sighs> So you're going to get, what is that, $59? Is my math correct? 30 times 2 is 60 minus a dollar. So $59. <laughs> a math major, I am not. Off of your fragrance. So it brings it up to 236 or something. So yeah, that's great. And then I would also say check out Soleil Neige, one of my very, very fragrant, 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 favorite Tom Ford uh, fragrances. This is a beautiful, beautiful, easy, easy going fragrance. It's listed as fresh. And a lot of people talk about it reminding them of fresh snow. Soleil Neige, right? Sun on snow. It has some citrus, it's vanilla, and it's a little floral. A citrus vanilla floral. A floral citrus vanilla. <laughs> fresh, and warm at the same time, very crowd-pleasing fragrance. There's a full 3.4 ounce on the website for 425. Oh God, you're killing me, Tom Ford. These prices are criminal. So a lot off on that one. And they also have the 1.7 ounce, they have a one ounce. And if anything, you can pick up the travel spray for it's $70 for the dang travel spray. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. So <laughs> $14 off of that. <gasps> but that I have a travel spray and I have the full bottle because I love that one so much. I am strongly considering picking up Soleil de Feu. It's $2.95. I did sample that. Uh, so it's, it's listed as warm woods, tuberose, sandalwood, benzoin. I think this is just a lovely, very warm, uh, almost like an ambery tuberose fragrance that is just like another adult hug in a bottle. This is a very grown up hug. I like this. I didn't realize it has a lot of sandalwood. I don't remember it having sandalwood. I remember it being ambery and tuberose <laughs> I'm a tuberose fan. So I'm really looking at this bottle. I may pick that up in the sale and just treat myself. And then my final recommendation is to check out The Seven Virtues. Folks like a lot of stuff from this line. My very favorite is Santal Vani. I'm obsessed with that fragrance. It retails the full bottle for $88. It's a lovely, warm vanilla sandalwood. Has a little bit of mystery from notes like myrrh. What else is up in here? It says it has coconut. 
coconut myrrh. But anyway, mostly sandalwood and vanilla, probably one of my favorite sandalwood uh, fragrances because of the warmth and the femininity that the vanilla adds to it. Powerful fragrance, long lasting. I adore this. There are other Seven Virtues fragrances that people really love. I would love to check out Cherry Ambition. I may get a travel spray of that. It's got mixed reviews, although it has a solid five out of five reviews or maybe 4.8 or something like that out of five uh, stars, I mean, on the Sephora website with 383 reviews. So that's that's looking pretty good for it. People love Lotus Pear. I think it's okay. Coconut Sun is okay. I mean, I wouldn't tell anyone, I wouldn't slap it out of anybody's cart. You know, if somebody showed me their cart and were like, you think my cart's okay? Not that anybody cares what I think, but those are okay. <laughs> and then Vanilla Woods is beloved. I'm okay with that one too. My Santal Vani, that's my homegirl right there. So what are you picking up in the Sephora sale? What do you feel like is worth your money in terms of fragrance and bothering with the 20% off from Sephora or the 15 or the 10, depending on where you are? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this very casual video with no makeup on and now my lip tint is completely gone. Happy shopping. See you later or smile you later. Take care, friends.